you know, you start putting these out in 2019. And then when, what was the first, you know, obviously you had some traction right off the bat, but then what, what were sort of those turning points maybe as NFTs started to get more popular? And when did you realize, you know, like, oh, I can, like, this could be a movie. This can be like all these different things. When did that hit or when, or were those the goals from the beginning as well? Um, no, you know what it is, man. Um, what's so beautiful about NFTs and crypto is the ability to connect and learn with, learn from people like full stop. Like I came in there, didn't know a single thing. And now I'm connecting with people that have been there, you know, veterans and, and have experience about what the technology can do, what's the future of the technology. So I was like, I was just in there trying to connect with anybody possible and just learning. And so that, that all of 2020, you know, I wasn't releasing much. Maybe it released like six works. And I was just learning about what's possible. Like what is possible? I just kept learning and learning and learning. Um, and then, you know, at the same time, my art career was going like this too. Art Angels, you know, I had a solo show out in Los Angeles, sold out right away. I was like, you know, that was doing well. And everybody was, was resonating with my message. Like with the astronaut helmet and... I said, you know what, I need to figure out a way to get this out there more like and seeing how people build like these tribes in NFTs and like the community around NFTs, I have to release this crypto natively because then like it's either going to work or it's not going to work. At that time, I, I, I didn't know how movies got made. Like I didn't know like, oh, like if I need a script or I didn't know. I just like this is a character that, that needs to be out into the world. I'm going to release it crypto natively. We're going to find out if it's going to sink or swim. Like there was no like, right. oh, you know, let's make this character because then it's going to be a movie. Then it's going to be a series. We're going to have a video game. That was all after. Crazy. So what what was the goal with, you know, this this current project? How many chapters are you doing this current one? Because I know you're on chapter you're about to be on chapter four right now. Yeah. Yeah. So my idea was I needed 10 chapters. I said, let's do 10 chapters. So we can tell a story and maybe someone can see it. This was like, dude, we dropped chapter one at like, that was the boom, you know? Um, didn't plan that obviously. Um, I thought I needed 10 chapters to prove out that it was a good fit or that, you know, people were interested in it. Um, and people were after one, after one. <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> <laughs> after chapter one that, sh that that narrative flipped and it was just back it was just grind mode and when i saw the numbers that it did and the people with the messaging on twitter i said okay i need to do everything i possibly can to make this as big as possible to reward those people because they completely changed the trajectory not for just me but my family like they believed in not just me but this character and this message so like literally we have it was a five seven minute open edition 1.6 million dollars or two something million dollars whatever it was right seven minutes is up i'm like that's cool now the pressure hit now it's like okay we got to go and so i wanted to execute on the film in between first and second chapter to show people that like we're going to execute for you like this isn't just like I'm happy I'm sitting on all this money. No, it's going to like, okay, well, now we're going to reinvest this. Now we're going to execute on the film. And then we're going to build out this whole, all these infrastructures to reward you. Because if it wasn't for them, Aku is not, Aku is just Aku, like in my head. Wow. That, I feel like that is very rare in today's <laughs> day and age, because most people look at NFTs as, you know, I don't want to say most, but there are people out there who look at NFTs as a way to quote unquote secure the bag, you know, through like a joke or a gimmick or turning something that they have physically into something digital just for money. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's pretty, you look at it as though it's a business in its own, right? Like why? It's a full on business. It's a full on business. It's, it's what I do. I wake up every, every morning, seven days a week. Took my first off day. I took my first off day um, last Saturday. I took my daughter to the beach and you would have fun. That's my first off day since we dropped chapter one. Um, because 
this is the thing about NFTs. Sure, there was a week where you could, you, if you had a famous name, you could drop something and you were going to make money. Now, no, like you got to, it's a business. It's, it's, just, it's a different, just like you have an agent, just like you, you know, are posted on this. You need to have like a whole strategy around NFTs, you know, or otherwise you don't get lapped out the building. And thank goodness it's more reputation based now because I was so yeah. worried and, you know, rightfully so at the beginning of all this coming from like a collectibles background, 99% of stuff ends up being worth nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. So then you add in like an unknown world and celebrities pushing things to an audience that doesn't have background in collectibles. I was like, oh, no, <laughs> this is a disaster. Um, and now, fortunately, it's more reputation based where as people you know, want to, they want to learn about things similar to how people want to, you know, look at all the analytics behind companies before they put money into their stocks. Right. I mean, what are you thinking? What are you thinking about it? Like, obviously you're collecting, but like, what was your, what's your thought then versus now when it comes to NFTs? Is that like a, is that a market that you're like, you know, or you, you want to, you're kind of waiting to see if it proves itself out? No, uh, very early. I knew that a, it was going to be huge for people who, who had big followings, um, but it was going to, A, so my first thought, I'll, I'll go the full, uh, the full discography of my own thoughts here. First, I thought that the big celebrities were going to make money, but hurt their reputation so much that they would lose money in the long run, which I think mm -hmm. has happened. Um, they, because loyalty and trust are, you know, the, the most important things in the world and they're crushing that with on a mil multi-million person basis. So I thought that even if you got, let's say $5 million and you have five, 10 million followers, that was a very bad move. Um, you know, because you're hurting that trust and that's something that, you know, like anything, like in a relationship or anything, you know, it takes years to build and five seconds to crush, you know, so that, that was my first thought. But then after that, looking at it from a collectibles perspective, um, it's like sports cards, for example, the top, the top five to 10% of the market uh, holds up much better uh, than the bottom 90% in terms of value. Like when, when everything hits the fan, um, uh, and so I collect presidential signatures, uh, as context, like Abraham Lincoln and uh, George Washington and things like that. And one of the reasons why I liked it so much was because when you know, the financial crisis hit in 2008, 2009, it didn't go down in value because they were so sought after they've been collected for uh, yeah. Washington the signature I have is from before the United States uh, before the Declaration of Independence from like 1760. So th these things have been kept and collected for hundreds of years. No market is going to affect that. And the same thing is true in sports cards to an extent where the LeBron and Jordan rookies hold up much better when everything hits the fan as opposed to a lot of the other stuff. So my immediate thought is, all right, let me try to figure out what those things are in this space and then put time and energy into learning those things and spending time with those people I'm not, I was never, and I still am not putting huge personal money into any NFT project. I'm putting more time and I like making content about it because content is a great way to be involved uh, yep. for free uh, and from an education standpoint so that other people are then informed. Um, but, you know, I, I still think they're, you know, I've heard, you know, Gary and a bunch of people say this before, but 99 point something percent of these projects will be worthless in five years um so for anybody who isn't doing tons of research tons of due diligence you're it's worse than gambling i think um you know so you really but the good stuff all time